action! Today on Kid Correspondence, we're serving up something delicious. You mean snacks? I was going to say news, but now I have to mention it. Snack time! 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 This program has been broadcast at a top secret frequency. If you're receiving this transmission, then congratulations! You're officially awesome. You're watching Kid Correspondent. Big news for kids. Welcome to Kid Correspondent. I'm Raya. And I'm hungry. <laughs> and we've put together a super awesome team of super awesome kid reporters, giving us a taste of what's going on in the world. Today, we'll find out how the food we eat impacts the planet. I want to see how it impacts my belly. Titus, wait! <laughs> but which of these snacks should we eat? Are some foods better for the Earth than others? <laughs> and how can kids tell the difference? Who knew there were so many questions in one little basket? Three, two, one, snack time! <laughs> Hold on! We're getting breaking food news from Christian. I'm Christian. Reporting live from the Great Earth Shake-Off. Today, Chef Jack and Chef Rosie are competing to see who can cook up the best smoothie for the planet. Bring it on! Ready to mix. And guard. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm gonna win it. They're being judged by the world-famous smoothie maker, Viviana! Welcome, chefs. Today, you're competing for the Golden Shake Cup. For your first challenge, you will race to pick up your star ingredients. Shake a leg! Ooh, looks like Rosie made it to the garden first. Those berries are super fresh. And Jack is going for the frozen berries in the supermarket. Oh, oh no. Oh, that took way longer than I thought. Hmm, these frozen berries were grown all the way across the country. Well, my berries were going to the local garden. Hmm. Ooh, sorry, Rosie. It's not good. It's great! Mm. Food that's grown closer to your home is better for the planet. You win this challenge! Yes! Looks like Chef Rosie has made a very good first impression. But how around to shake out? Stay tuned for more. Now I really want a snack. Well, we still don't know what snack to pick. Strawberries or potato chips? Looks like we're about to have a good old-fashioned food fight. Let's settle this by axing a grown-up. One chef, please. Three, Three two, two, one, fight! Hi, Chef Marcus. Hi, Ryan Titus. We're trying to figure out which foods are good for the planet. Strawberries or potato chips? What a great question. To figure that out, you have to become almost like a food detective. How cool is that? That's cool. I've always wanted to be a detective. That potato chip, do you have any idea where it come from? My kitchen? Could be. If you're making your own potato chip, absolutely. But sometimes have to put it in a truck or fly it over. Wow, that sounds like a long trip. You're right, Raya. Just for a potato chip. The further away we got this potato chip, the more it impacts the environment in a negative way. But when you grow your own food back in your parents' garden or community garden, the trip is not that long. And that makes it better for the Earth? Absolutely, Raya. You got it. And it reduces the amount of energy we use to bring the food to you. These peaches is from my peach tree. Catch! Whoa! <laughs> Thanks, Chef Marcus. You're peachy. Absolutely. And the best thing is that you can do it too. Go grow. I get it. Since strawberries can be grown at home, and most potato chips need to be bought at the store, that's a win for strawberries. Because you can go grow, then 
in your sights. Oh, sounds like there's more breaking news. Let's go back to Christian. Ah, uh, that's a peach. Round two of the Great Shake Off has just begun. Let's watch. Attention, chefs. Now that your ingredients are in your blenders, it's time to shake things up with the surprise twist. No, no, not now. I barely have time to defrost my blueberries. And the twist is... <sighs> We're gonna weigh your packaging to see who used less plastic. Whoa, I did not see that coming. When it comes to using plastic, you gotta go low. Because plastic stays around forever. And it's bad for the environment. So the chef with the least amount of plastic is... Chef... Jack! Yes! Woo! Whoa! Rosie and Jack are tied! But will there be a shake-up in the final round? Stay tuned to find out. If a snack has a lot of plastic packaging, we gotta go low. Hello, can you go? 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 And since potato chips come in plastic, that's another win for strawberries. Let's go to Ava to find out how kids make healthy choices for the planet. Hi, I'm Ava, and today I'm talking to kids about my favorite subject, food. Where does your food come from? We get our food from shops. My parents buy it from the grocery store. My mom's wallet, I think. Do you grow any food yourself? Yes, I have an oop tree. Peppers and a tomato plant and some potatoes. Basil, peppers, and more peppers. What do you do to make sure your food is healthy for the planet? I try not to waste food. I recycle the packaging. I make sure that I don't eat much junk food because junk food have a lot of plastic wrappers. I put my food waste in the compost bin to help plants grow. And those are some ideas that'll be chewing gone all day. Back to you, Ryan Titus. Wow, looks like kids can grow food almost anywhere. Even in a new studio. <laughs> Hold on. We're getting more breaking news from the shake off. <laughs> Christian here, the chefs are tied. But who will make the shake that's best for the planet? Let's listen. Wow, that was loud. The chef with the least amount of food scraps will win this round and take home our golden shake cup. Let's see how much food you wasted. Leftover strawberry tops. I don't have much waste at all. Right now, I'm thinking, I got this. I know. What's this? We've got some quick thinking by Rosie. She turns her leftover scraps into compost. Sweet move, Chef Rosie. Those scraps aren't wasted if we use them as compost. Worms break down food into nutrients to grow more plants and flowers. Oh, composting. Why didn't I think of that? Chef Rosie, you said no to food waste. And that makes you a shoot champion. Woo! Congratulations, Rosie. You're one smoothie operator. Thanks, Zach. You too. Let's shake on it. Day here at the Great Island Shake Off. Thanks for joining me. Are you a hungry worm looking for a weekend getaway? Mm -hmm. Then come on down to the Compost Motel, where food scraps check in, but they don't check out. Our all-you-can-eat buffet has eggshells, orange peels, even bread crustuses. But nothing greasy or fatty. If you're ready to dine on scraps and make nutrients for plants, then wiggle your way to the compost mountain. You can find us anywhere kids are composting. In their backyards, community gardens, or even at school. Come on down. Our prices are dirt cheap. Titus, I think we're ready to make our snack thing. 
decision. Good, because I'm so hungry. So, when it comes to food waste, we need to mix as little as possible. Let's, Let's go, go. go! Okay, since potato chips are greasy and can't be composted, the snack that wins the food fight is... The, the strawberries! The strawberries, 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 yeah, yeah. It's a tasty treat for us, and it's good for the planet. And now for something just as sweet, our Kid of the Week. <laughs> Abajay Patleri is a nine-year-old who taught himself how to code and make animated videos. When he learned about composting, Abajay decided to use his skills for good. So he made a video to teach kids how to compost. He now has a whole series of videos inspiring kids to do great things for their communities and the planet. Now that's awesome. And you know what else is awesome? Abajay is here with us now. Hi, Hi, Abhijay. Hi, Ryan Titus. What gave you the idea to make a video about composting? Last year, one of my friends in our neighborhood started a campaign to bring composting service to our neighborhood. And I thought with my coding skills, I could maybe create an animation to raise awareness and make it pretty easy for everyone to understand how important it is to compost. Why is composting so good for the planet? Composting is a great way to reduce the waste and turn the food scraps into organic matter, and it really closes the loop of our food system. Plant, the food, the scrap, the compost, the plant again. What advice do you have for kids who want to use their creativity to help the planet? Don't let anyone tell you that just because you're a kid, you cannot make a difference. Because we can. Abuja, Jay, you're using your talents to make a healthier world. And for that, you're our Kid of the Week. Whoa! Thank you, Raya and Titus. Bye, Abhijay! Bye! Now I'm hungry to do more for the planet. Me too. I can't wait to go grow my own food, go low on plastic, and go no on food waste. Sometimes it seems that there's so many things to choose from and that our choices don't really matter. But the truth is, they do. Our choices matter for the planet. Our actions can protect this place we call home. No matter how little or how big, you have the power to grow a better tomorrow. So, so do choose wisely. And you can have a healthy body and a healthy planet. It's like my mom always says, nothing brings people together like good food or a good dance. Three, Three two, one, one, dance party! What can you grow today? Thanks for watching. Next time on Kid Correspondent, what can kids do to stop climate change? See you soon! Welcome to Kid Correspondent. Uh. Are some foods better than the Earth? Better than the Earth. <laughs> Nothing is better than the Earth. Chef Brims. <laughs> Chef Brims. <laughs> I'm gonna go, Shrubbery. Ha! 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 Looks like we got a good old fashioned food fight on our hands. <laughs> that sounds delicious! <laughs> Soap and cake.